Chapter 76 of Dragon Ball Super had a lot going on. We got Vegeta versus Granola. He's going all out. Goku tries to step in. Vegeta decides that he wants to keep fighting. He's willing to put his life on the line. And guess what? Granola feels the exact same way. So as far as for Chapter 77, in case you guys were wondering, it is expected to be released on October 20th, 2021. And... Over on the AnimeDaily.com, here are their thoughts on the next chapter. In the upcoming chapter of Dragon Ball Super, Granola will face the harsh truths that he had been running away from. So by the end of the previous outing, Oatmeal and Monaito, I believe I said that name correctly, came to rescue Granola from the ruins of the planet. While leaving, Monaito revealed to Granola that ages ago, a Saiyan named Bardock saved the planet Serial. Granola was stunned by this revelation. He looked at the destruction he had caused and then thought about Bardock. Moreover, the fact that Bardock is Goku's father makes things even more complex for Granola. Now in Dragon Ball Super Chapter 77, fans will see if Vegeta will survive the lethal attack or not. While taking the blows, the Saiyan Prince had already accepted his fate. However, Goku was reluctant to save his friend. Now that even Granola knows the truth about the Saiyans, he might turn up to offer help. The new chapter is likely to conclude Granola, the survivor arc for the manga. It will be interesting to see how things will turn after Granola accepts his mistakes. Now, something that's very interesting to point out to you guys is that in the latest chapter of Dragon Ball Super, towards the end here, it's mentioned Burdock. And I got a little bit confused myself because I'm like, wait a second, Goku's father's name is Bardock, not Burdock, right? Well, that's not actually true. So in the manga version, it is actually spelled Burdock, and the reason why is that it's named after a herb, which is a common thing that we've seen in the Dragon Ball universe. So you got Gohan, for example, which is for referencing of rice, and so it's all these kind of puns is a very common theme inside of Dragon Ball's universe. So that's not that's not too big of a surprise. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so they are actually referencing to Goku's father or Kakarot's father, and we're going to find out more details about that, which is very interesting. In the previous chapter, let's go ahead and step back just a little bit more, okay? We actually have Elec and his crew. They're actually on the same planet as where Goku and Vegeta are. We know that because of the smoke that's off in the distance, and you can see her right here calling out, trying to find out what's going on over there. And what's very interesting is that they pull out the Dragon Radar. He said, we're about to reach the first location. So... It suggests that he can actually see the Dragon Balls on the Dragon Ball radar. <clears throat> and remember, on this planet, there's only a couple Dragon Balls. Uh, if I remember correctly, I, I think there are two. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. There's something going on with my throat, guys. So yeah, I believe there's only two Dragon Balls. But at the same time, too, he made his wish and the Dragon Balls flew off. Now, if you look at Earth, for example, it's one year that the Dragon Balls turned to stone. And they're not supposed to be detected. How the heck is it that he's going to be finding these things? Are they going to be holding on to them? Uh, is it a little bit of a different circumstance on this planet? I think these are all legitimate questions as far as if the Dragon Ball radar is suggesting, you know, for planet Namek or for planet Earth. It would seem weird that he would make the statement that we're about to reach the first location because they're literally on an entirely different planet and I just wouldn't really expect them to be able to tell where the dragon balls are way 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 far off like that so what this is going to entail we're not quite sure yet but i'm hoping that they're going to have more information in the next chapter right now the primary focus is the resolution of what's going on with granola's arc and so my theory is that granola is actually going to swap over he's going to be a good guy he's going to realize what it is that was going on he's going to apologize uh, he's going to kind of team up with these guys goku especially kind of has that innocent type nature and so you know the theory that the next chapter is supposed to be titled uh let's see do i still have it up here i had it up here a second ago where did it go the next chapter would be titled vegeta's last breath so if it's actually still titled vegeta's last breath then that suggests that vegeta might actually end up dying but why would vegeta die and so I'm not really being led to believe that Granola is the one that's going to make a decision to essentially execute Vegeta. But we do see Alec and the others over here. So they're not necessarily the greatest of people, right? Maybe with the fact that they've been waiting for 
Vegeta and Goku and Granola to just wear each other out, that they're going to be very weak. They can kind of swoop in and try and finish them off. Vegeta might get caught off guard. And when he's taken out, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be rough for pretty much everyone. And then, you know, if they don't have the Dragon Balls here, then it comes to the question of if they're going to be able to wish Vegeta back or not on the other planets. Uh, I believe Vegeta was already wished back on both planet Namek and on planet Earth because we know that he died during the battle of when Goku was fighting Frieza. And when Purunga had revived the people there, Vegeta was one of the people brought back. And then we also know that Vegeta sacrificed himself on planet Earth when he did his fight against Majin Buu. So that would mean that you can't wish somebody back a second time with the same Dragon Balls, so the only other Dragon Balls that would remain are the ones that are on this planet. But if Alec and the other have the Dragon Balls, that creates a big pickle, because how can you revive Vegeta if you can't seem to get the Dragon Balls? So if Vegeta's going to be gone... It's going to lead to a lot of questions. What is Vegeta going to be doing in the afterlife? Is he just going to be meeting up with Beerus again? Um, and, you know, it's just raising a huge series of questions. I don't know if he's going to die or not. I honestly, I hope that he doesn't. But it's definitely going to throw a huge curveball if he does. And once we find out more details about Bardock, I wouldn't be surprised if we find out that Bardock had already been setting up his plans to fight against Frieza. And so... He probably brought the Namekian here to this planet. I wouldn't be surprised. And then in addition to that, I wouldn't be surprised if he helped ensure that Granola would be saved once he found him, um, trying to make sure that there's that last little bit of hope of resistance that can fight against Frieza. Because Bardock was quite against Frieza. And at this point, when you're seeing here at the end of the chapter, it says 40 years back, the one who actually saved us was a Saiyan named Bardock. I don't know how much he actually went out to fight, so Bardock may have just simply hid them and told them to be quiet, or he may have actually fought against the other Saiyans and created a huge um, altercation, but I, I, don't, I wouldn't really see that happening, Bardock being such a big supporter of the Saiyans. It was more so that he was just so against Frieza. But, you know, we're going to have to wait and see what more details will come of this. So let me know what you guys think. <clears throat> Again, I'm so sorry. There's something in my throat. Let me and let everyone else know what you think in the comments down below. And uh, I know I haven't uploaded in quite a while, guys. I just, I've had a lot of things going on in my life, especially recently. And so I'm hoping to get back into the groove with these things. And um, let's see what we can do moving forward with the channel. So I'll be covering other manga. I'll be covering, covering Dragon Ball Super as well. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you're new. Hit the thumbs up like button. And feel free to share the video. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next episode.